Hey everyone, it's Steve from B&H Photo. I'm here at NAB in 2014 with Andy from AJA, and we're talking about the Scion High Speed 4K camera. Andy, tell me a little about this camera. Okay, sure. Uh, Scion is the first production camera from AJA. The camera itself is a PL mount system, and we're able to shoot in 4K, UHD, 2K, and HD. And we're using a APS-C size sensor. An APS-C size sensor, that's right, which is a global shutter, so we get really stable images under any lighting conditions. And what about our frame rates? Frame rates, there's lots of variable frame rates in there. So at the highest, we can shoot internally as 4K, 60p, and record that as ProRes 422. If you wish to shoot higher frame rates than that, we can take a 3G SDI feed out the side, and at 4K, shooting at 120 frames a second. That's a lot, but I'm doing 24, 25. All the standard flavors are all available, and that's across the board, and that's every flavor of ProRes as well. That's, and we, now the camera's recording to ProRes. That's right, yeah, so we use our pack media, which you may be familiar from, from our quad, uh, the Keypro quad. So in that sense, we guarantee the performance of that media for you. So we know we can give you that record time every single time, and we're not gonna drop a frame. Okay, so there's none of this removable media, the CFast, we're not going there. We're not going there, no. We've got tried and tested media from the quad. We know we can guarantee the performance for you. And also the drives themselves are rated for 10,000 insertions and removals. You're never really going to go through that. So we know they're, they're battle tested for the road. I got it. So we're talking, we got the camera body, mm -hmm. and but that's it. The camera comes as the body. Everything else is the lens, obviously, mm -hmm. but a viewfinder, and any other accessories, that's all not part of the camera. That's correct. So Why did you go with that way? Well, one of the reasons why we brought Scion to market was we wanted to create an open system. So every single fixture and fitting on the camera is standard, be it M6 or Arri style, Perth rosettes on the front of the body, quarter 20s top and bottom. And for us, we thought we can bring the science of the camera to the marketplace and then let the user accessorize. But at the core of that, we've created an ergonomic camera. So you're not having to add shoulder pads or other braces in order to put it on. You can simply take the camera and put it on your shoulder, use the viewfinder that you feel best for the purpose. You can add your own handle, add your own armature. It's entirely up to the user. In the same respect, the PL mount itself is mechanical and can be removed and replaced with a third party EF mount. Oh, so that's a really nice feature. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't void the warranty or upset Not at anybody. All. No, it's that's right. It's a beautiful right. thing. Of course, and we also included mechanical back focus for if you do want to do that yourself. That's a nice feature. Yes. That's right. So now a cameraman can switch quickly, pretty easily? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So at the moment, we don't have a roadmap for making any of those accessories. But again, our open approach means third parties can. And I'd be pretty sure they're probably already designing them now. I bet. I mean, it's a sweet looking camera. And I yes. wanted to point out, you're not known for, AJA is not known for cameras. What's the idea behind? Good, good question, a good question. I think AJ is now some 21, 22 years old. Um, we are known in the marketplace for bringing forward incredible products that have sort of changed the way people work. And we're best known maybe for unifying production and posts with the development of the IOHD and the Key Pro lines. Right, I love the Key the, Pro. Of course, the inception of external ProRes encoding. So we've kind of always been working towards something. And although a lot of people maybe think it's an audacious move to produce a camera, when you think about the hardcore technology we have elsewhere, Really, all of that fed into this. So the conversion, the output technology, the quad recording, the encoding. What we decided to do was then introduce ergonomics and an aesthetic, uh, a style, uh, if you will, um, which uh, harks back to 100 years of camera history. Right, so it really not tried does. to reinvent the wheel, just make a prettier one. It is actually, I'm gonna turn it just a little Absolutely, bit. Absolutely, please do. Because I love this replaceable, it's like leather. Yeah. It's a leather shoulder pad, it's suede, replaceable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love the little wood accents, yeah. which may not seem like a big deal, but when you're working with a camera all day, it's nice to have these well thought out parts. Yeah, absolutely. We've got audio inputs, mm -hmm. industry standard, yep. and we've got how many outputs? The outputs vary by what you want to do. So if you're working in 4K, we can drive 4K out the 3G SDIs, we can drive it out the HDMI 2.0, we can then have a dedicated down convert of a HD or 2K from this SDI, from this SDI, and from that HDMI as well. And those are all live simultaneously, and you can choose which you would prefer to have your overlay on, or not at all. So we give great flexibility. If you're working purely in a HD or 2K pipeline, they're all live, which is 
more outputs than you probably need, but we give you that flexibility really. to choose. And then on the other side of the camera, we're mm -hmm. going to just turn it real quick. Sure. We do have a little view screen and also Absolutely. for our menu. Yes. So this is what we would describe as a confidence monitor. Um, we don't believe you should be framing up 4K with this, but it's comforting to see the feed as an external user. The ergonomics of the camera mean that three people can operate very easily, and this is key to that. So this is really the operational side with the jog dial so you can go through using the simple button selections that we all recognize. They illuminate. Everything is so practical and thought out. We would say you're conveniently connected on either side of the and camera. And I like these, even though I'm not a sound person, I like we've got the little audio meters and the push button. Yeah. That's really a very nice feature. Nice sound guys are going to like you oh, for that. Yeah. If you're up into the amber, you're just under clipping where you want to be. So. so That's great. And there's the LANC connectors. Yes. So in terms of, we think the basic function you want to have from a LANC is start and stop. Start rolling, stop rolling. So we include that feature. Again, it's so standard, that technology has been well established. It means you can make your choices and introduce them to the camera. So it's a box and you build it out the way you want it. Yes, we would say she's too pretty to be called a box, but yes, you can treat her like that, absolutely. What we didn't kind of mention earlier on, she only weighs six pounds as well. Wow, so Super lightweight. beautiful form factor, six pounds. Yep. 4K, and Andy, thank you. You're very welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I'm Steve from B&H Photo at NAB 2014. Thanks for watching.